studio. We are used to limousines. This is a Mr. B. watching um damn thing about pope francis hey guys what's going on um i want to say thank you guys for waiting and being patient and being up late uh, i wanted to give you guys a show definitely for the people on the website i was watching and i don't know how many of you guys watched it but uh, a person emailed me, and, and if you are on the website, you know you can email me and get me to put up any videos that you see are missing or gone. So that's the good thing about the people on the website. Um, sorry about TNN Raw 2. I'm sorry about a lot of this stuff to know that black people are stalking me to that extent. Not TNN Raw 2, but TNN Raw. You guys see that that channel, the videos were getting like 100,000 views in a day. And they flagged it down. And I just want you to think about how you'd feel if someone was messing with your money the way they're doing mine. There are hundreds of people who do news online. This Negro and his minions have decided to stalk me. Have decided to stalk me. And they're winning. They're winning. This is the only channel that I have left to broadcast live from. Out of all of those channels, you guys know that I have one on one channel gone. Oh, I can't broadcast from it. And these things are locked up, many of them until August. My uh, Facebook page. All of them are locked up and it won't let me make another one. The YouTube pages, all of them are locked up and it won't let me make another one. The rest of them should be coming down soon. They've been able to get strikes on them. Some of them, even when they're private. I carved out a nice little niche for myself, a nice little career for myself when nobody else was thinking about doing it. And nobody else was bothering me. I only have black people saying, let's go after his money. And as I told the police, if you're not going to do anything, don't get mad when one day I go and kill the individuals who are doing it to me. Because I'm not going to sit here and watch people destroy my life because they want to. And that you have, and then the, 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 the man was like, well, I hope you know that these conversations are being recorded and you're making a threat. I said, it's not a threat. You're telling these people, you've empowered these people to screw with someone else's livelihood. You're empowering them to do it. They get a glee knowing that they're doing it. And you're doing nothing about it. They've sent two police officers to my house because of what women have said that I've threatened them. They came to my house. This man has been threatening me for two years. They've never went to his house. The other person has been threatening me. They've never went to their house. A woman just says I've done something to her. And you show up at my house.
you obviously see that a man is stalking and harassing me when he says, let's take down his, I cannot start a GoFundMe. Because he finds out about it and goes and flags it and they take it down. But at the same time, he has a GoFundMe and it stays up. He says, I'm e-begging for having a GoFundMe. Then he gets a GoFundMe, but it's not e-begging. I have the GoFundMe because they flagging all my stuff down. He has the GoFundMe because he's flagging all my stuff down. Now, it's not you guys' job as the audience members to do anything. But what I want to say before I get into the show, stop telling me to keep fighting a fight that you see me losing. Stop asking me to fight a fight that you see me losing. Keep fighting it. Where are your videos? Man, I miss you on YouTube. when all you do is sit there and watch people mess with me and you entertain, you, you like the entertainment because there are donate buttons all over the place, but there are very few people who do it. All of those people who told me how much they love my videos to the point of a hundred thousand people watching every one of them. How many of you think actually hit that donate button? Even the people who are doing this here, Paul, thank you very much. But I ask you people stop sending money to YouTube. If YouTube's taking me down, I ask you people, donate directly to the links in the description box. I get it immediately. Yet people keep sending it in that um in that thing. You sent forty nine ninety nine. How much of that went to YouTube and how much will I see if they flag my channel down, sir? But they don't care. I think it's like a big old joke. I want to get to the show. And the sad part is I'm doing the show for people who actually pay for the website and who actually give a crap. And other people can see it. But I want you guys who know who, who to know who pay for the website. I'm working on getting it to where all of these low lives and freeloaders who just sit here and want to watch it won't be able to watch it again. Now, let's get to the late night show. Kanye West. A man who said something that set the world on fire. Not the fact that there's a story that came out today and I can't put the news up there, but I'm just going to put the news on the website and you guys who own the website will be able to see it or who subscribe to the website will be able to see it. I understand, uh, Paul, that that's that's nice, but what it does is it makes other people do it and that money just goes away. Like, I, I, I appreciate it but it goes away. I can read if you guys are donating, I can read your donations to PayPal. If people are donating, I can read those. Or if you do the cash app, it'll make my phone make a noise and I'll hear it. And the people will hear it too. No, I can't um, live stream directly to my website yet. And if I could, I would have done it, but that's okay. I understand if they like to see themselves donate, um, we'll figure out a way to make that happen. Uh, you want to see yourself donate, go to Soto fund me. You'll see it up there and it'll stay there for all of eternity. Soto dot me. But 
A 15-year-old girl was shot and killed as a car full of men drove by a crowd and shot it up. Let me say this to you guys again. Fifteen years old. Shot dead in the street because thugs. Drove by a crowded area to get one person and they were willing to kill all of them. To Cal, don't tell me you miss me broadcasting on YouTube without you sending a donation. Just shut up and listen to the show. Just please shut up and listen to the show. Fifteen years old, dead because somebody drove past these people and killed them. And yet you have people online trying to convince the world how big of a threat I am. You have people online right now trying to prove to the world how big of a threat to black people I am. Yet I've been on YouTube since 2012 and I've been online since 2009 and no one. And I mean, no one has been killed by me or killed by someone who knows me. Been no drive bys, been no drug dealings, been no drug sales. Been no molestings, been no rapings, been no beatings. Yet the focus is on me and people actually believe this that people get up every day to talk about me and not that now you have the Kanye West situation where everybody gets up and tries to act like Kanye West did something wrong he had an opinion that you don't like but it wasn't wrong it wasn't wrong by a long shot and it surely shouldn't have been to the point of where all these people had all this to say. It shouldn't have been to the point where all of these people have all of this to say. Right, Carrie. Carrie said, you know, it's bad when they're shooting into the level one trauma center. I want to let you guys hear this big old fat, these two fat hoes talking about Kanye West and the simp is interviewing him. I haven't seen it. Somebody sent it to me and I said, this will be a good uh, around the web series for me to go ahead and take a look at this. Um, I don't know what they're going to say. So we're going to watch this together. So let's listen to that woman whose stomach, ladies, your stomach should never be bigger than your titties. We need, we need to make it a rule. Your stomach should never be bigger than your breasts. It shouldn't happen. And if your breasts are, getting close to being small in your stomach something should be done about it that's a sign ladies that you may have gotten too fat if your breasts are sitting on top of your stomach like this if that is happening to you we may have gone too far if your arms up here look like the ham that's on Tom and Jerry's table on almost all the episodes, the cartoon ham. If that's what your arm looked like, it might be time to work out. If your neck got more rings than Michael Jordan, it might be time to work out. If you got more chins than the Chinese phone book, it might be time to work out. If when you walk, you got to carry a fire extinguisher because your thighs rubbing together might 
cause a fire. It might be time to work out. I'm just saying it might be time to work out. What did, um, I think you accidentally blocked George Lopez. I'm hoping that's an accident because George Lopez is a good man. Let's go ahead and get into the show and hear what they got to say. So, Leo. So, how do you feel about Trump? <laughs> no. <laughs> Before we get into the Oh, you want to get a drunk first. Okay, I have okay. to ask all right, you. All right, all right. What do you think about Kanye West saying that slavery was a choice? So, I feel like he said after 400 years, slavery was it started to feel like a choice mentally. Mm -hmm. If you think about Nat Turner. First off... That woman should not be allowed to talk about anything that's a choice because her being fat like that is a choice. She talking to this black ass leprechaun. Carlton's undocumented brother. How's she going to talk about something being a choice when her sitting up there looking like she's sitting on top of herself? Look like somebody placed the top of her body on the side of the bottom of something. She looked like a human bean bag. She looked like the kids would have so much fun jumping on her. She looked like if you pushed her down, she'd stand right back up. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. Whoa. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. Why would you ask her about a choice? When she always makes the wrong choice in eating habits. She always makes the wrong choice in exercising. That is the wrong person to talk about anything about choice with. Only thing she does, the only thing she does that's choice is get choice cuts. Maybe taster's choice. I don't know. You seen the movie Birth of a Nation? Mm -hmm. He rose up. What's birth? What's birth? You already said. I don't need to mess with Carlton like that because he might say some good stuff and then I'm going to have to backtrack on my jokes. But still, Carlton, um, leprechaun in the hood, um, black-ass Frodo, uh, listen. What's birth? Mentally. If you think about Nat Turner, you've seen the movie Birth of a Nation. Mm -hmm. He rose up. You know what I mean? You think about Harriet Tubman. She said that if... Uh, she could have freed thousands of more slaves if the slaves knew they were slaves. She would go to them and say, yo, let's run, let's leave. And they like, what you talking about, let's run, let's leave. Mm -hmm. I'm at home. She like, this ain't home, like you can leave. They didn't even know they were in slavery. It's very similar to us black conservatives, well, my, me being black conservative, coming to the Democrats and saying, to black Democrats saying, let Okay, so you're a black conservative, good job, good, good job, all right. Uh, there's uh, almost 500 of y'all, but only 198 likes. Y'all know what I ask. I don't know why I have to keep asking this. If you just could, if you come here and you're watching, click the like button. A lot of people don't even know this channel exists. Please. Please. Just click the like. The more you click the like, the more people know the channel exists. The more people come over here, the more they like it. Right, Harriet Tubman knew there was choice. Many people knew there was a choice, but us saying it is a choice is a bad thing, and yet we we big up freedom fighters. Do you guys understand that if you do not believe slavery was a choice, then there's no possible way you can big up a freedom fighter? How many of you guys understand that? How many of you guys understand that you cannot have both? You cannot say, hey, I big up people who are willing to die over their ideals. But slavery wasn't a choice. You can't do both. It doesn't make sense. You can't be a fan of Malcolm X and then say slavery wasn't a choice. You can't. You can't be a fan of the, not the movie Black Panther, but the Black Panthers. And then turn around and say, ah, but slavery wasn't a choice. You can't do both.
Let's leave. They killing us. They they they, they shooting us in the streets. Uh, our, our communities are horrible. We ain't got no jobs. We ain't got no businesses. And they control all of our, you know, representation. And we get nothing. And people saying to me, what are you talking about? I'm not leaving my food stamps. I can eat. I'm not leaving my welfare. I'm, you know, I'm paying my rent. But we saying to them, let's leave all that and go do some to some greater. But they don't know that they, in, you know, involved in that. So how do you feel about Trump? No, I'm playing. What's your rebuttal? <laughs> well, I feel like, well, I feel like that. That is true that you can't rebuild, but then slavery wasn't a choice from when you first were became enslaved. Mm, like, 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 like you elaborate. were taken by force. You didn't. Have, you were stripped of your language, stripped of your family, stripped of everything. You're in this new environment trying to assess the situation. Yes, she said they were stripped of their language. First, she said the first people who came. Then she said they were stripped of their language. No, they weren't. The first people who came only spoke one language or whatever language of the tribe they came from. But they weren't stripped from, from, from their language. That could only happen a few generations down. But she said for the first people, it wasn't a choice. They were taken by force. I can understand the argument. I can. I'm going to try to do this without even the histrionics. I can understand the logic saying that, hey, you didn't want to die and you wanted to just see where this was going. I can understand that. Many of you can understand this too. If you're taken by these people, you didn't, there was no possible way they could have thought that they were going to be taken to another land, never to be brought back and to have generational slavery because maybe they've never seen it. So what you'll do is say, they got a gun on me because I do it. If somebody busts in this house right now, he put his gun up to my head. I put my hands up and then while he tells me to do whatever it is that he's asking me to do, whether it's rob me or whatever, I'm going to see if there's a way out of this. So yes, I will do that. I will say, well, there has to be a way out of this. It's like a woman who allows a man to rape her so she can live. I get it. So I'm not even talking about that group because remember a lot of those first groups of people were sold by their own people. I'll say it again. A lot of those first groups of people were sold by their own people. Somebody asked in the audience, they said, why do we keep rounding up 295 years of slavery to 400? It's just a word that we like saying, and we've heard it so much. Like most of what we do as black people is based upon what we've heard other people say. So we just repeat it. There were rebellions, right? Mm -hmm. But everybody at that time didn't rebel because you didn't have the education to know more, to do more, to actually make it. So I don't think it was a choice. And one thing I have to say about Kanye West, I think he's using his music to scapegoat off the black people. I feel mm -hmm. like that's typical. Holocaust, could you say that was a choice? So let, Why is it that? He's using his music to scapegoat off of black people. This is why black women should not be allowed to speak publicly unless they write it down and have it fact checked by five other people. If I could do that with the chat room, I'd do <laughs> If I made it the way they were old black women's comments until I was able to read them and approve them. You know what she just said? He was using black people. He's using music to scapegoat. I'll let you let her say it herself to assess the situation yes there were rebellions right mm -hmm. but everybody at that time didn't rebel because you didn't have the education to know more to do more to actually make it so i don't think it was a choice and one thing i have to say about Kanye West, i think he's using his music to scapegoat off the black people I've he's using his music to scapegoat off the black people what That doesn't even make sense. He's using his music to scapegoat off black people. What does that mean? Seriously, y'all, what does that mean? I want to know what she's thinking.
What does it even mean to scapegoat off? Did she mean to profit off of them? Is that what she meant? But because how do you use your music to scapegoat off a group of people? And what does scapegoating off those group of people mean? What does that mean? Scapegoating. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she needs a Snickers. But like that's typical holocaust could you say that was a choice so let, why is it that okay when it comes to the go ahead I'll well i want to address the first question the first okay. thing you said you said that from the very beginning when they first grabbed them mm -hmm. that wasn't a choice right so you're saying right. like we in we in africa right because we was at right and then the the americans along with the europeans along with the arabs the chinese yeah. and the africans colluded together to come get us Right. So right. this is this but is I'm, the true history. So they came over to grab grab us. You saying when they came and grabbed the moms, the daughters, get your ass on the boat, shooting us, all that type of stuff they was doing. It wasn't a choice because we were dragged. Is what you're saying, right? Well, first it was the Spanish who came there. Spanish was there too. The right. Italians right. was there. Everybody. That's why I said Europeans. That's why yeah, I said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they were all there too. So <laughs> no, I felt I, I. I was about to say. I hope he was going to say the Spanish or European. <laughs> Well, first it was the Spanish, and don't forget about the French. They were there too, and um, the Polish, I think they picked up some, and then I think uh, the Russians did it, then, then the Italians, and um, so it wasn't just the Europeans. What? The black people were out there playing basketball. It wasn't just the black people. It was the light-skinned people, the brown-skinned people. But the Negroes, yes. But it wasn't just Negroes. It was the... What? There was a lot of countries. It wasn't just Europeans. But you name Europeans. No, I named Italians. Go on, um, fatty. From my understanding of my knowledge of history, no. It wasn't like, okay, so you can choose to not come? Is that no, what no, you're saying? No, no, so what I'm saying is, so, mm -hmm. so back to that premise, what okay. I'm saying is that at that very time, you had a choice to come with them or fight and die. You know what I mean? So it's not like it's not like you didn't have zero choice. You got to also understand we ran the entire Western Hemisphere of Africa. Nobody tells you this real history. The kingdom of Ghana was ours. Mm -hmm. Right. So we were kings and queens on that side of the whole Western side of Africa, West Coast of Africa. Mm -hmm. That's why the Africans colluded with them to come get us. The Ethiopians, the Egyptians, the Eritreans, the ones that we hang out with today, they colluded with them to come get us. Right. So we so they all came to get us. So but we could have but we could have fought. But what so are you right? suggesting that we didn't fight and no, 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 everybody no, was like, oh, here, take me? No, no, like, people, no. Def no, people, people def definitely fought. Yeah. So that's when it was a choice. Some people said, take me. You seen the movie Black Panther. The guy said in the movie, you know, uh, bury me in the sea with my ancestors that jumped from the ships that said slavery was worse than death. Because they felt like bondage was, was, I mean, was death was, was um, I'm sorry, bondage was worse than death. So they jumped off the ships and killed themselves. But you didn't go to bondage willingly. You went to bondage through fear. The fear that I'm going to kill you. The fear that your life is in danger. I'm going to get on this ship because I don't want them people to just stab me or shoot me right in front of all these other. And you wonder how these people get fat. Why is that fat hair hat laying down on the bed? Get your fat ass up and burn some calories, you fat moose. Why are you laying your fat ass down like that with all that weave on and fake eyelashes and you up there looking like oompa doompa doopity doo. Fat ass sitting around eating too. Get up. Do some exercise, you beast. Maybe burn a couple of calories at least. The people right. so i'm going to then get on this boat and i'm going to take this journey because i'm scared 
that's a different type of thing when you look at somebody saying, well, it's better than bondage to jump off this ship. But I mean, what difference did you really know? Even if you were queens and kings, you knew to go to battle, right? So you knew right. to go to war, right? But if somebody is coming with weapons that you've never seen before, if somebody is coming with teachings that you've never learned about or heard before, your mind is going to be in a... What would you do if you got out that bed? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use your hand to hold up that fat ass head. What, what are y'all doing in the hotel room? <laughs> Why? So you're state. saying we were conquered. So, so we I, lost. So I, I it was feel, a war and we lost. I definitely feel so, but, like but we, we were had conquered. A, but, but we had a but, choice. But, I definitely it's, feel it's like we were It's a choice conquered. when you when you go. It's not a choice. How is it not but, a choice? Cause it's always, it's always, it's always, okay. Let me ask you this right now. If, if three one... men come into this door right now mm -hmm. and they come and they bum rush you and they get you to a point where they subdue you, mm -hmm. is, do you have a choice if you I'm, leave? I'm glad you gave me that example. Do you because have a choice? Because the guy, no, no, look, the guy holding the camera right now, mm -hmm. when we was about nine to 10 years old, I'm not making this up. Mm -hmm. When we was about nine to 10 years old, we're walking in an elementary school called Webster. Five dudes come. And say, all y'all coming with me, y'all gonna be my slave. Now, we used to play like that, but they was punking us. We was like cowards. Of, they was like the gang members of the, of the street. They was like, y'all come with us. Y'all finna be our slaves. My cousin Rick called in the camera and said, I'm not going nowhere. Just like that. All five of us punked out and went with them. Like, all right, what y'all? They had sticks. They had bats. They said, y'all coming with us or we gonna whoop y'all. He said, I'm not going nowhere. So you tell me that we didn't have a choice, but we were scared through fear. So we went with them and they tried to beat us up and throw us to the ground and slam us. He sat right there and watched the whole situation. This is a true story. Okay. So based along the same lines of everything we're talking about, there was a choice. We could have fought. We, we was about the same amount number as them, same yeah. size. So we could have fought and said, you know what? Let's go. Let, you know what? Let's, we finna, we, we going to blows right so now. I remember when I was young, it was me, uh, a few of my friends. And, this, and, and and one of my friends' name was Dave. And we didn't get in that car, but Dave did. We, we, we He told us he was going to do something to us if we didn't get in that car. But we didn't get in that car. Dave got in that car. You know what Dave ended up doing? Dying in Mystic River. Dave shouldn't have gotten that car. Dave had a choice. You didn't have to get that car, Dave. Sometimes I feel like it wasn't just Dave that got in that car that day. Oh, Dave. Dave wasn't asking where's the beef after that day. Dave didn't have no daughter named Wendy, but God, dog, he got that big. He said the good stuff. He gave him the beef. What if they bop, kill Rick? Then what? Rick didn't have nothing to do with it. I'm just saying. <laughs> we're back into that same scenario. They scenario. kill Rick. Now what? What y'all doing? What the fuck y'all for doing? Well, we all we well, going into slavery. Because exactly. we were supposed to be So that's scared. the same thing. Exactly. So you guys, but we had a choice. We could have fought. Is you had saying. free will. And we then have now y'all would have died. So what you're saying is you have free will. So in essence, you have free will. But it's somebody that's taking over something by force and we all know if you knew better you would do better right okay no, so once we're here and you don't know and you don't expect it's easier than saying oh so you can choose to go and live a good life and have certain things happen because you don't want to go this way so what was what was the solution what was the alternative you say okay so everybody should have died instead of going through slavery if that's what it's, it took it's, Yes. But I agree with that, but I don't agree with the fact that. Listen what his dumb host said. So everybody should have died instead of going through slavery. What did everybody who went through the first and second and third waves of slavery did? Why is he not letting me argue this point? So everybody should have died. They die. <laughs> Not only did they die, but they died after making a profit for their slave masters. And they died after making more slaves for their slave master.
is why they don't debate me and why they won't come on my show because I have an answer or I will just let you talk. Now, I won't cut you off just to be cutting you off. But it, you had a choice to die right then and end the process. Do y'all hear me? How many of y'all hear me? Y'all listening? They had a chance to die right then in the process and make it to where nobody would come back and pick up any more of those slaves because they stupid. Remember in the movie Black Panther? Not Black Panther, but um, Infinity War. Remember how the, the black chick with the bald head who played Tupac's mama was looking in shock and awe as Thanos' army was running into the barrier and killing themselves just to get to them. You guys remember that? How she was like, they're killing themselves. Because they believed in doing that job so much. Pearl Harbor. What was Pearl Harbor? Japanese fighter pilots who only had enough gas to go one way. And they weren't doing this for their own freedom. They was just doing it because they was told by. <laughs> they had enough gas to go one way. Is it? Right, D-Day. D-Day, they were being sniper shot. If you can see footage of D-Day, it's gross. They were being sniper shot. They just figured we could send more people than they can send bullets. That was their logic. We could send more people than they can send bullets. So they was in them little boats and they were just drilling them from up from the top. Just da -da 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 -da. Wipe out the first boat, the next boat came, and the next boat came, and the next boat came, and a few of them survived, and then a few more survived, and a few more survived till they got enough to go up there. At the end of the day, you're forgetting one major component is the religion, the religious factor of all of this. The Europeans came over to Africa. They start spitting this European religion on us. And through fear of God, somebody that's telling you, hey, this God loves you so much that he wants to put you in slavery so that you can better your masters or you can. Now she's blaming Catholicism slash Christianity that they hadn't had a chance to implement on the people yet. Well, that doesn't make sense. They didn't get indoctrinated into Christianity until they got here. And the only reason the Christianity took because they didn't have anything else. It's easy to implement a religion on people who don't, who are destitute. And the main people who were getting them and setting up the trade, they were Muslims, not Christians. They didn't even speak the language. So you couldn't give them Christianity. They didn't speak the language. You can talk all you want. They don't know what you're talking about. Better yourself, that fear. If you love, for me, myself, I'm very that religious. Later. The, the religion did but that came, that but came when they was at that. So you ain't religious because you laid up in the hotel bed. That's <laughs> your fat ass. I keep it going for 400 boat, years. Also okay, also we're talking about 400 also, years, But also right? understand something too. What Kanye was talking about was the 400 years. Eric says nobody knows their history. And Eric don't know the difference between T-H-E-R-E -E and T-H-E-I-R and T-H-E-R uh, apostrophe E. Uh, they are. He don't know the difference between those three. That's okay, though, bro. You The, the, it, the one you meant was T-H-E-I-R.
uh, T H E Y apostrophe R E. Yeah, I, look, that's what we're talking about, right. the 400 years. Okay. So with Kanye West, I personally He's saying like after Kanye 400 West, years, y'all could have left by then. Y'all could have came out of Kanye it, y'all could have revolted. West, so got so Kanye, Kanye West is saying that, that we shouldn't have sitting, reparations or he feels like we shouldn't get something because well, of the fact of the things we that we... That yet, well, because. that's what he's saying, though. That's not the same. That's the same thing to me. Because he's saying that after 400 years of slavery, you guys can now release yourself from the mentality. You can't release yourself... Ain't your mama done set up with them big old titties. Of something that of something that somebody that's Caucasian and white still has you under. We are still prisoners. How, how can't you not release yourself from it? I release myself from it. You feel that way, my brother, but you are not. You how, are how, 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 how am I not released from These two women are slaves to hog mogs and chitlins. I will not listen to two people who cannot put the fork and the spoon down and pick up some Air Maxes. I cannot listen to them. You are me, I said in my video recently, and I mean this with all my heart, and this is different between me and every, and I feel the masses of black people. If I felt like I was a slave, I'd leave. Okay, where I have no reason. I leave. I leave right now. I'll do my car. Right so now. this I'm is my thing. But that's not a You I don't no feel like you're a slave. But because you, I'm you not are, a slave. If I you, thought, okay, if your, I thought I was getting it. Your mindset may not be a slave, but your body and your physicality is a slave. Because so, you one work for somebody slave. else. Because you don't work for yourself. I own my business too. Okay, you may do that on the side, my brother, but you work here at this I don't have to work here. I can do right now. That's a choice. I can do it right now. You're choosing to work for yourself. you're choosing to work Matter of fact, before I to work Matter of fact, before I worked here, I didn't work for eight months. Nobody is taking away from so the accolades of black people and the accomplishments that they have from releasing themselves from the mentality of slavery. What I'm saying is at the end of the day, if you still choose to cooperate and, and put yourself into corporations that the white man gains and you steadily sit in that 5% of that profit margin. But why is the fat girl in the bed? And she's saying that he a slave to his business. But if he don't feel he a slave, if he's happy with what he's getting and he ain't been killed or raped, then why would he fight against the system? I'm pretty sure at his job, if they start raping him and killing him, he might not work there. You're not, you're a slave. So there's no corporation that black people own? There's but tons of corporations that, you, that black people own. That's not what I said. I said not the representation of what you that. work for. So that's what you, I'm saying. Nobody's so, black owned First of all, first of all, first of all, this, this took a turn into something. Yes, it did. No, it right? didn't, it did it. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That, well, you see what they did. For, so apparently he's at a hotel that he work in. She's calling out the hotel. So this whole trying to get this man fired. Y'all see that? She trying to clown him for working at the hotel, but you up in the bed in the hotel, knowing that they're gonna have to make up the bed, and he using the he using the room to record his footage. She trying to get the man fired. He's like, "Whoa, this guy just took a turn." That's why you can't talk to black hoes, cause when when they losing, they go to personal. God, dog, don't tell everybody where he work at and everything. God, dog. You're a slave. So there's no corporation that black people own? There's tons of the corporations that, you, that black people own. That's not what I said. I said not the representation of what you that. work for. So that's what you, I'm nobody so, black owns either. First of all, first of all, this this took a turn into something completely else, <laughs> no, right? No, it didn't. It didn't. Yes, it did. 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 We're yes. talking about modern-day slavery. We're talking about slavery. Now we're talking about modern-day slavery. Modern now we're going to get into modern-day slavery. All right, we're going to twist it with... Exactly. He And he kept trying to tell the big old fat obese, and that is the only thing I do appreciate about light-skinned girls over dark skinned girls. Dark skinned girls a lot. Now again, the dark skinned fat girl still physically has a better shape to me than that big old fat behemoth. Cause that other one just shaped like a bowling pin. But see how that dark skinned chick who's using your stuff is now clowning your stuff. Then he says, this has took a turn. She says, no, it hasn't. He's trying to explain how it has. She keeps over talking him. It had. They were talking about slavery, chattel slavery, not the modern day slavery. If you want to believe that working for a corporation is slavery. That is a turn because Kanye West wasn't talking about that at all. So like he's saying, there's no reason for us to be talking about my job like this. Audience, we switching it over to modern day slavery. Okay, okay now. I just have one more
Because that's, that's, the that's the reference. That's what reference. I Hold on, because like, I'm speaking. No, no, because I'm because I'm gonna I'm gonna address all that that you just I said. I have one more thing that I to would to like to say okay. about um, Kanye West. I think that he uses black people as a scapegoat, definitely. and I think this West is definitely scapegoat. a point. Please elaborate. Like basically, I can um, tell black he's... people you're in this situation because of your own wrongdoing. Is mm -hmm. what he's saying. You right. had a choice, right. so we're in slave for four hundred years because our ancestors didn't he's do saying, this. Listen, Let me finish okay, real yeah. quick. Right. And I feel like he's doing it as a ploy to sell his music. And I feel like it's okay. It's always okay for artists to use the black people at their expense. The same black people that put you to where you are. The same black people that got you all the way to Calabasas. So you can sit somewhere without having to face. Black people did not get him there. Just like me. Black people didn't get me to where I'm going. I'm at. And if I get anywhere in farther, you know what black people are going to do? The same crap. We're the ones that got you there. How? You're the ones that tried to keep me from getting there. You didn't get, why do black people take credit for stuff that they don't have credit for? The same black people that got you where you are. No, they didn't. They didn't. His talent got him to where he was and white people buying his music got him to where he was. White people weren't putting that song. I mean, black people weren't putting the song. No one man should have all that power in their movies. Did wasn't. These were white people that put him in the place where he's at. Cause you won't get to where he's at. If white people decide not to listen to your stuff. It's the real thing. He haven't had a phone in years. He haven't even watched CNN. He doesn't know the same politics. He's just voting for Trump and saying that just to cause an uproar. Just so, to you sell assume, so, so you're assuming that this is what he's doing. No, it's but true. check this out. What it's about true. what about the Mingos that tells you He said, So you're assuming that's what he's doing. Listen to that black hole. But it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Jay Z and Dame Dash didn't help him, Brandon. His talent made the, if you listen to his song, uh, cheers to the, uh, cheers to the rock. He said, they didn't believe in him. He said, they just wanted him to make beats. That's it. And at the time when he was making beats for him, he said, I had the number one song in the country and couldn't afford to stay in my hotel room. I mean, in my apartment, he said, he got kicked out of his apartment. He said, he had the number one song in the country, Jay Z's. Uh, what was that song? Ace to the is O. He had that song on the radio. He said he heard himself on the radio. Number one song. And he didn't have enough money to pay for his own apartment. That you can pop mollies. That you can drink. That you can spend all your money. What about them? Are they not using black people? So Kanye now coming out saying to black people, hey, Get up off the get up off the victimization. Thank you. Stop blaming a white man. Stop blaming everybody for your condition and start looking in the mirror. So he's using black people for a point, but G Easy not the white guy that's running around. Okay. Okay. Yes. Soon as you step out of line with black people, that's what you become. But the Negro who telling you to go out and kill everybody and shoot everybody isn't using black people. Do y'all understand how dumb black women are? That's why I do not like them. They will cheer for the guy that's calling black women hoes and telling you to go shoot up the club and do all this. That guy is fine in the black community. They don't call him out. If he wake up one day and say, we're in this position because we put ourselves there. You're a sellout. You're a coon. You're just using us to sell records. Well, Kanye West is already Kanye West. And you see how that black bitch snuck in that he was with a non-black woman. You see that, right? I don't know if y'all heard that fat bitch, the, the, the fat dark skin one, because that's all they know how to do is bring up the fact that you ain't with somebody, want somebody black. He can't talk about it because he ain't with, he with a white bitch. How many of you guys have noticed that there's so many rules that you don't know which hoop to jump through? There's so many rules that you don't know which hoop to jump through.
You have earned my respect, Leo, but you cannot bring fat black bitches to a hotel room. You fucked this up, Leo. But you did good. Just don't bring, next time don't bring these fat ass black bitches to your shit cuz they don't appreciate shit. You don't brought them to your job and they threw out your job to the rest of the world. Think that he uses black people as a scapegoat. Definitely. And I think this What's is scapegoat? Definitely Please important. elaborate. Like basically I can um he's tell very, black he's... people you're in this situation because of your own See what she said? That's what she said cuz he's married. Listen. Oh, cause, cause I'm, no, no, because I'm because I'm gonna I'm gonna address all that that you just I said. I have one more thing that I would like to say degree, okay. about um, Kanye West. I think that he uses black people as a scapegoat, definitely. and I think this West is definitely scapegoat. Please important. elaborate. Like best. And the fat bitch said definitely, knowing she had no one else to say. Hey, a Z Y Z, stop telling me to change the fucking title. Tyler, did you donate? Shut up with that. All the shit I done been through, nobody can come, can come in here and tell me shit. Watch the show. I don't give a fuck if I called him nine feet tall and the nigga was only three foot five. Shut the fuck up. Telling me to change the damn title. Donate or shut the fuck up. I wake up every day and half the shit I work on is gone. And I got to hear niggas who don't do shit tell me what I should be doing. If the title was my dick is long, you going to watch it or get the fuck out? I can, um... Tell married. black people you're in this situation because of your own wrongdoing is mm -hmm. what he's saying. You right. had a choice. Right. So we're in slave for 400 years because our ancestors did he's do saying, this. Listen, Let me finish okay, real yeah. quick. Yeah. And I feel like he's doing it as a ploy to sell his music. And I feel like it's okay. It's always okay for artists to use the black people at their expense. The same black people that put you to where you are. The same black people that got you all the way to Calabasas. So you can sit somewhere without having... Yes, I have a choice, motherfucker. That's why I'm cussing out the niggas that's telling me to do something else, nigga. Damn right I have a choice. That's why I said what I said. I said he did a good job, ZYZ, motherfucker. Did I not say it? So shut up about my motherfucking title in the middle of the show. Change my damn title. Yeah, it's a choice, nigga. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. To face the real thing. He haven't had a phone. Now anybody either. else say some bullshit about any damn thing else, and it, especially about me at this motherfucking junction. I'm blocking your ass. That's my damn choice. Ain't got time for this shit. Watch and enjoy the damn show. I'm giving you a great ass show at two in the motherfucking morning. So shut the fuck up and enjoy it. He doesn't know the same politics. He's just voting for Trump and saying that just to cause an uproar. Just so to you sell assume, music. So, so you were assuming that it's now the fat bitch said just to cause an uproar. So what that delineates then is that he knew black people were so damn dumb that if you say something like that to them, it'll piss them off. So should you be mad at yourself for getting pissed at the ploy or should you be mad at him for knowing that you get pissed? Why do we get mad at somebody else? Because they knew you'd get mad at what they were saying. What? You knew I was going to say something. You notice I've never said that about true seamen or anybody else that they said something to me and they knew I was going to respond. I didn't have to respond. That's a lie. And you knew I was going to get mad. They didn't know it. And if they thought it, I proved them correct. No, it's but true. check this out. What it's about true. what about the Mingos that tells you that And you that fat bitch kept saying no it's true and have never spoken to Kanye West. So how the fuck is she gonna say it's true that the only reason Kanye West said this is because he's trying to sell records? No, it's true. It's true. Hate fat motherfuckers, cause fat people shouldn't have an opinion about nothing. And if you fat and you listening to my stuff, I understand. I still feel like fat motherfuckers shouldn't have an opinion until they get their weight under control. You can pop mollies that you can drink, that you can spend all your money. What about them? Are they not using black people? So Kanye now coming out saying to black people, hey, get up off the, get up off the victimization. Stop blaming a white man. Stop blaming everybody for your condition and start looking in the mirror. So he's using black people for a point, but G-Eazy not, the white guy that's running around. How did marginalization take place, though? This margin, did black people create this marginal view 
Did black people of themselves? create? Yeah, did black people create? Hell yeah, we did. Talk? Hell yeah, no, we, no, did. No, 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 no. If we did. Hell we did. We did. We did. We did I agree. I think that we did. That's we much created that. that. Thank you. Okay, so that so is so that is a fact. So when Kaya says we're trying to really lynch him, but just because, but just because, but just because somebody came to you and said, you know what, I'm gonna kill the body, but I, I mean, I'm gonna keep the body, but kill the mind, just because they killed our mind for generation after generation, that doesn't give us an excuse today. We live in today within the information age. We have all the information of. Um, Thank you. How many times have I said that? First off, that Willie Lynch shit is fake. Second off, if this is if what happened, if all these niggas know about the Willie Lynch syndrome, then nobody should be falling victim to it, right? If everybody knows there's arsenic in my peanut butter cookies, who the fuck should still eat it? Would you feel bad that people, everybody know Tommy make his cookies with arsenic. His secret ingredient is arsenic. And you still eating it? That girl got AIDS and you still sleeping with her? Everybody knows the white man is evil. Everybody knows the white man had slavery. Everybody knows the white man hate black people. Everybody knows the white cops hate black folks. Everybody knows white cops will kill black people just as quick as they'll give them a ticket. Everybody knows this shit, and yet you won't leave. Everybody knows America's against blacks. Everybody also knows that passports are pretty damn cheap. It's cheaper than a weave. Motherfuckers will get a weave before a passport. How many of y'all know black bitches that got weave but don't have driver's license? I met a few of them. You know, when you're desperate to find a good, some pussy, you just fuck, you, you fuck low. I don't know. My fellas, how many of y'all know what I'm talking about? When you're depressed a little bit, you start fucking whatever comes your way <laughs> and i've been doing that lately just whatever's coming my way fuck it i'll fuck your bitch and then you talk to the bitch because they laying in the bed with you so you land talking to this dumb ass bitch and you listen to the motherfucker say some dumb shit and you realize wait a minute you dumb bitch you an idiot Why am I fucking below my pay grade? <laughs> to our fingertips. You in college, you okay. in college, this fool buying houses and selling houses. He didn't say All that. of us doing big positive but things. He didn't say Why that. He said slavery complete? was a choice. He did not say today, hey y'all, I know our ancestors wasn't slave. We have the information he now said. to free ourselves. So now, you see what they keep doing. They can't stay in one place. They made the man talk about modern day slavery. Now he starts talking about modern day slavery. They jump back into regular slavery. <laughs> he can't win. Where's Trisha Yar? What do I say? Trisha Shire when you need her. She'll let him know you can't win. You can't. And it's sad that he can't, you will drive yourself crazy. And again, I put the link in the description box. And for those of you who are not subscribed to the website, go see it. I put up um, the video where I talked to this girl named Sierra. I was listening to that thing. And I'm telling you, I was on the edge of my seat and it was just me. I think I'm going to start putting up a bunch of old shit. So whatever interviews or things that you guys seen that you enjoyed and you want them back up, let me know and I'll go find them and put them back up. But I was listening to me talking to that woman. I was like, wow, I'm really patient. I'm really good. And this bitch is really an idiot. Somebody said them titties on point. No, that bra is being worked overtime. Them big old titties is just as, as soft as that fat bitch is. Them titties just. Them titties need some Maxwell House. Brew it on bold. This guy. Now, now, hold on. Let me. Can I? Can I clarify what he said? Because yes. we keep saying he said slavery was a choice. He said, "I feel like after being a slave for four hundred years, I feel like at this point it's a choice." He's saying that you've been here for four hundred years in shackles. And why does the nigga recording this keep putting his hand over the screen? What's wrong with this nigga? 
Why is the camera not on a tripod? What's happening? You don't need a, 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 a nigga to hold your camera. This is unprofessional, Leo. What, Leo? In chains, doing what this person tells you to do. And then he also elaborated and said, it's more of y'all than it is of them. And you're still in chains. He said, now it feels like a choice. Okay. And, and Kanye West was the person who tweeted Harriet Tubman, who Harriet Tubman said it was a choice. This was a person who was a slave. Yeah. Neither one of us in this room was a because slave. she said that if so, you walked up to a person, and, and I'm sorry to cut you off, but she said that if you walked up to a slave and tried to get them free, half the time they, they wouldn't know what they were talking about. So I get totally and understand. Because the reality of them was I like, totally understand what Kanye means, that it is a choice. I'm not disagreeing with him on that. What I'm disagreeing on is the fact that Kanye doesn't represent himself as a person that's trying to get himself out of slavery to better black people. Correct. You cannot... What? What? Don't put it in the chat room. You email me. If you have a video that you'd like for me to see, number one, send me send me the video. Send me, email it to me. I'm not going to sit up here and just start doing it while I'm in the middle of a damn show. First off, the whole start of the conversation was they don't agree with Kanye West saying that slavery was a choice. Do you understand that 12 minutes and 51 seconds into a 15 minute interview, they have now said, oh, I don't disagree with what Kanye West said. When, why the fuck are we talking? <laughs> it says debate was slavery a choice, not debate or, or indictment on Kanye West's life. Do you now see why they're attacking me the way they're attacking me? Because black folks don't know how to debate. They only know how to diss. They only know how to play the dozens. They only know how to find fault in you when they can't find fault in your argument. Somebody tell me I'm lying. Black folks do not know, and in, in general, the majority do not have the skills to debate masterfully. So all they know how to do is talk about you as a person. They went from, we don't agree with Kanye West and what he said to, well, no, I do agree with him. He's just the wrong person to be saying it. Really? Who's the right person to be telling the truth? <laughs> Audience, please answer this for me. Who's the correct person to tell the truth? If it's the truth, who is the right person to tell it? Who's the best person to tell it, especially when black folks love to say, everybody has seen and come, come show to the glory of the Lord. Nobody is perfect. Because you know a black bitch will turn into Hannah Montana in a minute and yell out, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. So if nobody's perfect, no, anybody should be able to tell the truth. Anybody. I don't give a damn. Listen. Isn't it funny that Negroes love to listen to the Willie Lynch letter, which was written by a white person, but they'll listen to that white person because that white person explained their condition away. Wouldn't he not be the person you want to listen to? So why is it that like like um the white man who says that black women are the most educated because the black women didn't do that study. So why do they listen to him? How many of y'all realize black people will listen to the devil if the devil tell them it's going to be sunny outside tomorrow? <laughs> 
Black people would listen to the devil if the devil was their physician and he told them and they was 40 pounds and he told them, you're in tip top shape. You'd sit up there and say, thank you, Beelzebub. Nah, you can call me Satan. They'll listen to him. But if Jesus said, y'all black folks need to get your shit together. Why should we listen to you? You just a carpenter. What? Nobody want to listen to you. You don't even build houses correct. When the last time you built something, Jesus? What kind of carpenter are you? I ain't seen now, neighborhood. Keller Williams don't put up none of your work. That's black folks. Hitler could tell black folks they are the best people on earth. They'll be like, that, that Hitler know what he's talking about. <laughs> that Hitler know what he's talking about. Hitler know what he's talking about. Somebody need to give him a medal. A Nobel Peace Prize. How many of y'all knew Hitler won a Nobel Peace Prize? Say that to your friends when you're sitting around having drinks at the Friday night party. Hitler won a Nobel Peace Prize. You cannot lead by example by then going and marrying a white person. So now you're doing a character assassination. No, I'm not. I'm not a care. I'm not assassinating his character because I did, I never even. So say you can't lead by example if you marry a white woman. You heard that, fat bitch. You can't lead by example if you marry a white woman. But they've never said that to a black bitch with a white man on her arms. Did you say that to Maya Angelou? Angelou, I don't know the hoe's name. Did they say that to her? You can't leave by example with a white person on your own. Really? Didn't Thurgood Marshall come from white stock? And didn't he have a white wife? I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know this for serious, but they don't ever say that. But whenever people say Armenian, I mean, in Armenia, there's these things called the Caucasus Mountains, the name where Caucasians came from. So she is a Caucasian. She's a Caucasian. They're from the Caucasus Mountains near Asia. Caucasian. Now we paint all white people under that brush of Caucasians. Because they're from the Caucasus Mountains, which is in Armenia as a person that's trying to get himself out of slavery to better black people Correct. you cannot you cannot lead by example by then going and marrying a white person and now you're doing a then, character assassination no i'm not i'm not they are a character assassination i care i'm not assassinating his character because i did i never even so i never said anything from, about his try. character so, so let me ask you leo let me ask you that, that's a that's a fact <laughs> that is a fact but i mean that's, that's not assassinating his character so no. let me ask you, you can marry question. you can be married to a white girl i can be married to a white man but would that be an actual would that be an actual representation of, of somebody telling me okay. somebody I, telling somebody being pro-black that's not that. you went and you settled down into a household that is not black i can understand you created kids that are partially black i can understand so, to a certain degree. so exactly yeah. so to a certain degree i just to a certain degree like, he should okay, be black have this question he, he is always going to be black he needs to remember that his kids will always be black okay. and he needs to remember that to other people that they're not going to be looked at as kim kardashian kids them is going to be niggas let's change the subject so let me what the fuck Okay, no matter how his children are being looked at or the wife that he's with is being looked at, it will not stop him from being able to speak as a black man. That makes no sense. They're saying now he can't speak as a black man because his wife ain't black. Then said his kids are partially black but then said they's niggas. A fact. Is that is a fact, fact, but I mean, that's, that's not. Look how this fat bitch is getting all animated. Like she yakko, wacko, and dot all rolled up in one. 
She's an animaniac. Her head is full of that yak. This motherfucker's fat and her titties show is stacked. She's animated, totally insane. Barack Hussein, animaniac. Those bitches fat. Oh, so I'm scared. Let me you can marry. You can be married to a white girl. I can be married to a white man. But would that be an actual? Would that be an actual representation of, of somebody telling me? Okay, somebody I, telling somebody being pro black. I That's not. I you went and you settled down into a household that is not black. I can understand. You that created to a kids that are that partially a black. I can understand so, that to a Exactly. Yeah. So to a certain degree, I just to a certain feel degree, like, he okay, should be black. Have this question. He's always going to be black. He needs to remember that his kids will always be black. Okay. And he needs to remember that to other people, that they're not going to be looked at as Kim Kardashian kids. Let's, Them is going to be niggas. Let's change the subject. So but let right. me go back let's to Donald Trump. Let's get this wrong. Let's get this wrong. Because that's what I want to say. This is my issue. That's what I want on YouTube. Because this is my issue with Trump. Okay. How can Trump see the people with Charlottesville, right? protesting they say robert e lee you need to keep this statue up you know what side of the war he fought on yeah i, okay. I wonder what party he was affiliated right with. i know what was party it? he was affiliated oh, okay. with but we, we ain't gonna know, say, oh, you know gonna say that. you don't want to say that on, no. we, don't we don't know that we don't know they switch you say they switch okay. i don't say they switch you said okay, okay. okay. so because right. okay so let's so go. i'm saying they switch you said they don't switch i'm saying it was but not Donald a switch, Trump, 100%. How can you say that those people protesting in Charlottesville and that man running into their people and they're advocating for white supremacy? Mm -hmm. How can this guy, the president of the United States, say, oh, that was a group of fine young men? <laughs> First of all, that's not what he said. What did he say? He said there were bad people on both sides. Okay. And so that, How? And what because he said sides? there was bad people on both sides, that's what people uproar, because they said it was Let Nazis and it was... Let me find this clip to oh put in the video what he said. Absolutely, we can, we can find it. Find my eye is going all the way to the back of my head well, What do you well, think he said? emoji. What do you think he said? Because he said I, it was bad people on both sides. He never said they so were... I feel sides. like in times of trouble, Excuse Trump me. always plays the middleman. He always tries when it's something What's big happens. When something big happens, he never chooses a side. He always stands in the forefront and be like, well, you guys are wrong and you guys are wrong. But sometimes you need to pick a side. You are a Republican. Pick that side. Stay there and be that Did that's it boss? pick that side stay there and be that I got a question as serious as cancer who can take the average dancer hyper than a heart attack nobody's smiling I, I want to know is this part two man I did not know I'm gonna have to stop it and start back y'all wait up listen I, I gotta ask this question and we're gonna we're gonna stay there for a minute before I start with part two, cause I didn't know he had two. I I ain't I didn't see number one. Didn't know it was more of it. So I'm gonna stop and then start right back. So y'all can just stay here in the chat room. It'll come right back on. Um, does she not know what the role of a leader is? A role of a leader is sometimes to walk between the raindrops. That's actually the job of a leader. So if he's leading a country, he probably shouldn't sit there and be jumping from side to side, should he? He probably should be more of the male man, especially publicly. What he does behind the scene, completely different. Publicly though, yeah, that's probably how he should handle that. So they make up stuff about Donald Trump. They get corrected about stuff that they said about Donald Trump. And then they go to another argument. How many of y'all have been watching me for years and know that every time I correct people uh, of what they're saying, they jump to another argument. They'll, they'll say something. If you don't correct them, it'll stand. But if you correct them, then they'll be like, oh, wait, well, well, then let me go to something else until I finally find something that I'm right about. If somebody catch you in something and you said something that's not true, you need to address that you are saying things that are not true. Do you guys know, and this is before I go, and I, I'm coming right back. You know what? I'm going to leave it right there on that. I'm going to leave a cliffhanger. It's fucking cliffhanger. We're not going to do um, the Infinity War. We're going to leave you with a cliffhanger right there. I'm going to give you guys some information about the woman who lied on the police officer when I come right back. Give me 60 seconds at most to start the show. Right back.
and we're going to do part two. Watchful News said, Tommy is very emotional. Why does watch, Watchful News? Somebody already said, get Watchful News out, and they keep they stay them in there. See, my moderators are blocking people who shouldn't be blocked, and then they got somebody who keep just being a dick, and you don't block them. We'll be right back, though. 